Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul, and I'm bringing you Liz today. I'm very excited about talking about everything to do with paint parties. So Liz, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Okay, so y'all know I love bringing interviews to you just so that we can get to know each other more, but also to hopefully inspire you to teach a paint party. So um, Liz, go ahead and just tell us where you are located and what's your business name. So I'm located up in Guilford, New Hampshire, um, and right by the lake. It's by the big lake up here. And my business name is uh, Create and Paint New Hampshire. Create and Paint New Hampshire. So they can find you on Facebook that way? Yeah, they can. Okay. So tell us, go ahead and just tell us um, what you do in the art world. What do you kind of do out there and what you're, um, if you've been teaching paint parties a while? Um, so I have, I'm kind of new to the whole paint party canvas side of teaching things. Um, I have been teaching uh, sign classes and stuff like that. Um, I've been doing crafting and arts and stuff like that. Just checking the time. My daughter gets off the bus soon. So I, was, I heard the noise. I was like, oh, no, she's early. Um, but uh, I, you know, I've taught those sign classes before and the paint parties. I've only, you know, I've got probably five or so under my belt right now. So it's new to me. It's exciting because it's kind of incorporates the whole, even the sign stuff, because we use paint and everything on those anyway. So, but I like the idea of being able to do more with the less densely, more, you know, creative side of it too. So that's why I decided to branch out and do that as well. Um, okay. So how long have you been doing the sign parties? Um, I would say probably about a year now. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So, so this is all pretty new to you. Yeah, it is. It's pretty new to me. I've just, I've always been like crafty and creative, but I always used to try to sell my stuff and I just, I don't have knack for like hawking my own wares, but I love, like, I love teaching people. That's my thing. I really absolutely love it. I teach, you know, mixed martial arts to kids and adults and stuff like that at the dojo I go to. And it's oh, just wow. always the teaching thing is what I like. So I decided to, instead of trying to sell stuff, I'd rather teach other people how to be creative and have fun because it's my outlet and I thought people would like it too. It is so much fun. So yeah. much fun. That's pretty cool. Okay, so you started about a year ago. Um, mm -hmm. What is the most exciting part about teaching paint parties? Um, the most exciting part, I guess, you'd have to say is when everybody's like um, not trusting that it's going to happen the way you want it to. So I taught a, um, a, a, a truck with like a whole bunch of flowers in the bed. You can kind of see in the background there. Um, but I taught that class one night. And everybody was like, oh, it's turning out terrible. They didn't like it. And this one lady was just completely upset. She's like, it's not going to turn out good. It's not going to turn out good. I shouldn't be doing a paint class. And we get to the very end and I take her, I, I just, she was all upset about the whole thing. So I grabbed the picture and I took it away from her. And I stood up in the front of the room and she goes, oh, it actually does look good. So that's, that's the cool thing when people actually get to see that, you know, if you just trust it and keep going, everything's going to look pretty awesome at the end. Yeah, that's the thing I always tell them. I'm like, you cannot judge it until the <laughs> last few steps. Like, yes. you know, and then you're staring at it the whole time. I mean, I've done that in my own paintings. I'll be painting a flower and I'm so frustrated with it. I'll get up to go to the bathroom and I come back and I'm like, oh, it looks good. You know, it's <laughs> a part of it. It's part yeah. of it. Okay, so tell us, I love this question and I love asking y'all because um, I know paint parties are a lot of times, it's just the start of it paint party adventure. It's the start of something cool. So what is your ultimate goal and kind of what do you want out of this? So right now I want, I'm doing it kind of mobile and stuff like that. My ultimate goal is I want a studio space where I can actually host these types of events, paint parties, sign making classes, and then some other little ones here and there. But that's my ultimate goal. And I have to be honest with you, um, my daughter, she's 10 and she loves doing all this stuff with me too. So we kind of want to take and do what you guys, you and Pixie do, and eventually plan a vacation where we go through and we, you know, take a couple weeks and go teach, you know, up here in the, this area and kind of just get around and go check places out and do something together. Cause it's kind of our little thing. We like to, we like to bond. It's our set time. Oh my gosh. Yes. Please like do it now because Pixie just turned 13 this weekend. <laughs> And so she's not into it as much as she, oh, was. No. she was like eight, nine, ten. Like those yeah. years, man, she was so into it. And now she's still into it. If you know, but of course I pay her, you know, yeah. I like money. <laughs> yeah. You know, so she'll get into it, you know, cause she knows she wants money for makeup or something like that. But yeah. I'm just always like, so thankful that we just 
went for it, you know, because yeah. we do have all those memories of bonding that we have together. So I'm excited. What's your daughter's name? Her name's Addison. Addison. Oh, that's okay. Is she your only? No, my husband and I have two others, but they're, they're adults and they don't live at home. So. Oh yeah. It'd be hard to kind of take them. <laughs> yeah. They don't want to hang out with me anymore anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Pixie's starting to get to that age. Like I'm good, mom. I'm good. I'm like, oh, it's so fun. <laughs> Um, what advice would you give someone who is starting to teach paint parties? They're brand new to it. Um, I think don't overthink it would be the biggest one I have. I start getting in my head like, oh, I got to get this right. I got to get this right. I got to get this right. And then I, instead of getting parties booked, I concentrate on making sure everything's perfect ahead of time instead of just getting out there and working out the kinks as I go. So stay out of your own head and just go for it, I guess is my biggest advice. Oh my gosh, that's great advice because so many times we can just sit there and wait and wait and wait till everything's perfect. And yeah. it's not going to be perfect, guys. <laughs> it's not. You just have to do it. Yes. Um, okay, so any, um, I know you had some little advice here. Is there anything you want to add to somebody who's brand new teaching paint parties that I know there's always that excitement, but there's also that fear. Is there anything you could add to just let people know like how they should go about starting this? Um, how they should go about starting it. Do you mean in terms of actually starting in a teaching moment or just in terms of getting the, the ball rolling to start the actual business? Yeah, just getting the ball rolling. What would you say to do first? Um, I would honestly say find something, a program like this, though, that helps you get on track <laughs> with it. Everything. Yeah. That's, that's actually been a really huge thing for me. I was so excited when you opened your doors for your program. But I think aside from that, my biggest thing would be um, get a couple, you know, uh, designs ready or whatever, and just go for it. Get out there. And even if it's starting out where um, a lot of the Hobby Lobbies, Michaels is doing it where you can get their rooms mm -hmm. just to get into a place to try to you know, build your confidence up. That's not going to scare you as much, you know, bring your friends to it, you know, outside of your home type of thing. So I think that would be just getting at least one or two under your belt is the the biggest I want to say the biggest fear but the biggest you know if you can get there first then it feels like it's easier after that because I remember when I did my first paint, you know painting party I didn't think I was going to be able to teach these women I had you know no experience ever teaching an actual painting class and I went in there and it was just the most amazing thing I'd ever experienced I was I normally have really bad anxiety about everything and I went in and I took a deep breath and I went for it and the class came out amazing and I was on cloud nine for the rest of the night. So just getting that first one under your belt, I think is the biggest thing. Just make it happen. Go for it. Yeah. Taking action through fear is so important. And I'm like you, I talk a lot about, you know, having anxiety, but then when I'm in a paint party, it's like, it just goes away. It's the weird yeah. thing. <laughs> it's so exactly. cool. You have that too. That same kind yeah. of I yep. yeah. I don't know. I think it's like when you find something that you're supposed to be doing, it's like, then it just goes. Yeah, away. exactly. It's so weird. Um, okay. So how can people um, find you, Liz, if they want to know about you, maybe they want to book a paint party with you. How can they find more about you? Uh, the easiest way is through my Facebook page right now. I don't have a website going yet, but um, my Facebook page is Create and Paint NH and it's got the Distracted Crafter because that's kind of my background is I jump from project to project and I, I want to try this. I see that. I want to try that. So I feel like a lot of people I know can relate to that. Um, yes. I love that. Just like the distracted crafter. That would be such a cute name too. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. So they can find you at Create and Paint and New Hampshire Distracted Crafter, right? Just the NH? Yeah, just NH, but um, on Facebook. Awesome. Yeah. So y'all can find her at Facebook. And then, um, yeah, I just really appreciate you being here. I know there's so many people out there that or like us when we first started, you know, we get nervous. We're not really sure what to do. And just kind of knowing that there's other people out there all over the world doing the same thing. And um, just makes me feel calmer. I don't know if it does for you, but <laughs> it always makes me feel a little better. It's very helpful to have people that do the same thing. Cause then you can kind of bounce ideas off of them. And, um, it, it feels, you know, like you got a community of like-minded people. So that's, that's really good. Yeah, it's cool to know that there's people all over the world showing God's love through art and teaching paint parties and being out there, you know, crafting and all of that. So I'm just so glad you were here. Thank you so much for taking time out and Thank sharing you. some information with people. We appreciate it, Liz. All righty. 
All right, guys, and everybody else, um, hopefully, if you like these, please put, post a comment below and let us know, and we'll do more of them. All right, see y'all later. Bye, guys.